Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, today we are going to be discussing the deployment of C++ Builder applications to another uh, computers. Uh, the issue is that sometimes when you copy paste your executable and all uh, other required files that uh, your application uses, uh, your application uh, won't start on another PC. It, it reports some files missing and etc. So let's demonstrate it. If I run this application, it's very simple. It just uh, outputs uh, hello when I click this button. And of course, I get the same thing if I run the application from its folder, right? But the point is that I can run the application. It uh, reports no errors. On the other hand, I have a virtual uh, machine here, uh, which does not have the C++ Builder installed. And uh, once I drag and drop the same application here and I run it, I get uh, these type of errors, right? It says that I'm having VCL280 BPL missing, RTL280 missing, then some DLL, and so on and so on. And the number of these uh, missing files can be uh, larger depending on uh, the complexity of your project or depending on the components that you use, and so on and so on. And uh, actually, we can see what uh, uh, external libraries are being used by your uh, project or by your application if you go to this project and deployment uh, item and uh, here they are these are the files uh, that are required by your application right and uh, we had uh, a report for this one missing uh, I believe uh, also for one of these DLLs uh, and so on. Uh, so how to solve this problem? Uh, well, uh, the obvious problem is that uh, those files are missing here because uh, I don't have C++ Builder installed here, right? So most of your users won't also be having installed a C++ Builder. And uh, in order to uh, have a self-contained uh, exe file, you simply need to go to the project options and uh, on the C++ linker uh, you have this link with dynamic RTL uh, deselected, it must be false and also go to the packages, uh, runtime packages and also deselect uh, link with uh, runtime packages and save it. Okay. Uh, there is also one thing you need to notice is that this executable file uh, is very small, 180 kilobytes. And that is because uh, everything he needs he gets from those external libraries. But now we have deselected the use of, let's, let's simply put it like that, we, we embedded all those uh, external uh, libraries, uh, meaning the functionalities that we need inside uh, uh, this exe file here and once I compile and run again it will not be 180 kilobytes but as you can see it's a lot larger almost 3 megabytes why because like I said we embedded all those needed functionalities from the external libraries into a self-contained uh, exe file and now when I copy that file into virtual machine and replace it Okay, I run the application and as you can see, there are no errors, uh, everything works uh, as expected. So uh, that's uh, the idea of this video, to simply show you uh, what you need to do in uh, the case that your application won't start on another PC. Uh, just check uh, the project options because uh, always when creating a new project by default, uh, your uh, C++ linker will have this link with dynamic RTL set to true and will have the uh, link with runtime packages set to true and you need to uh, set uh, both to false to have a self-contained exit that will work on any other Windows machine. That's it guys, uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.